Another no-show for an Albuquerque woman racking up high-profile charges, including a police chase and now murder. News 13's Brittany Bade breaks down the charges against her and explains why she wasn't already behind bars. When Ms. Acosta is not physically present in the courtroom. This is far from the first time 44-year-old Maria Acosta decided to skip going to court. We would just be asking for a failure to appear in court and warrant. But it is for the most serious charge ever filed against her, murder. Acosta was indicted last week on first-degree murder charges tied to the death of her ex-boyfriend, David Salazar. APD says in early August, Acosta and her new boyfriend, Derek Bonner, broke into Salazar's home to get Acosta's stuff back. Witnesses told police Bonner kicked down the door and the two men got into a fight. Bonner is also facing a murder charge, but it is not clear exactly what role APD believes Acosta played in the murder. However, she has been on law enforcement's radar for years. In January, Acosta and a friend led police on a high-speed chase through two counties. A lot more debris coming off. Looks like he definitely has two front, maybe one rear. That started after they were accused of stealing fake eyelashes from a family dollar in Cupero. Speeds topped 100 miles an hour before police finally arrested Acosta near Albuquerque. The Jeep she was driving was reported stolen. Get back here! I'm not talking to you! Acosta was released on her own recognizance in that case, despite being wanted at the time for blowing off her pretrial supervision in another stolen car case from 2020. Court records show Acosta also failed to show up to court in the police chase case. Police ran into Acosta once again in late August after being called to a fight between Acosta and her daughter, allegedly over fentanyl. At that time, Acosta had at least one warrant out for her arrest. However, APD says the day of this incident, Acosta had a medical episode and was transported to the hospital. Officers later charged her with battery and issued a summons. Now charged with murder, Acosta no-showed again and appears to be in the wind. Brittany Bade, KRQE News 13. Acosta did have an active warrant out for her arrest the day of the alleged fentanyl fight. APD does not know if responding officers checked for a warrant before she was taken to the hospital. Acosta currently has four active felony warrants out for her arrest.